I would like to express my deep gratitude to you for your well, warm welcome and generous hospitality. Indeed, uh, it gives me great pleasure to be the first foreign minister of Ukraine to visit Morocco since the establishment of our diplomatic relations 31 years ago. Um, but you are next. I will be looking forward to uh, welcoming you in Ukraine to correct the mistakes of our predecessors who did not pay enough of attention to the opportunities which Ukraine and Morocco can offer to each other. I came here to Morocco. This is the first country on my African tour. And it was a deliberate choice to begin in Morocco. Given the, uh, all the good relations that we have had and continue to have. And I came here to open the door for other government institutions, tourists, students, businesses from Morocco to Ukraine and from Ukraine to Morocco to, well, to, to um, walk through that door and to open more doors between our countries. And the discussion we had today demonstrated our mutual understanding and respect for each other's interests. And more importantly, a commitment to further deepen our bilateral ties. It is true, we covered a wide range of issues, not only bilateral, but also uh, regional. We spoke a lot about Africa, and uh, uh, we do see the potential Morocco has as a gateway to Africa. But first of all, I would like to say, to convey warmest regards to all those Moroccans who had studied in Ukraine over the years, who came back here to continue with their lives, but who remember Ukraine and who hold Ukraine dear to their heart. And I would also like to assure students and their parents whose studies in Ukraine were interrupted by the Russian aggression against my country that we will be doing everything possible to resolve all related issues and to restore your educational process. We value Moroccan students. We are uh, happy, we will be happy to see them back in Ukraine. And moreover, we will be happy to see more Moroccan students in Ukraine. It is only the war, the Russian aggression against Ukraine that interrupted this mutually strong people-to-people uh, -people interaction. We also agreed with Nasser today to make very specific steps in order to facilitate trade and people-to-people -people contacts between our countries. Therefore, we will hold, uh, we agreed to hold consultations on visa facilitation and trade facilitation between Ukraine and Morocco. All of this is taking place against the background of the war. And uh, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the government of Morocco for the support it has extended to Ukraine on the international stage, particularly at the United Nations General Assembly, where Morocco voted for very important resolutions aimed at restoring peace in Ukraine. Indeed, uh, we discussed various uh, proposals popping up like mushrooms all over the world on how to restore peace in Ukraine. And I agree with my colleague that uh, proliferation of proposals may lead to uh, having too many proposals. And this is why Ukraine uh, is offering to the international community to focus on the peace plan proposed by Ukraine. It's called Peace Formula by President Zelensky, and it consists of 10 points addressing security, nuclear, humanitarian, environmental, and recovery aspects of the war. We will continue our discussion with Morocco on this, on this particular issue. Another 
important issue on our agenda was uh, food security. Uh, we um, understand how important this issue is. Ukraine wants to remain a reliable food security guarantor for uh, the entire world, including, including Africa. And by the way, I was told that uh, I brought the rain with me, which is good for Moroccan agricultural sector. So you see, even in this, we do our best to help your farmers to grow uh, and collect relevant harvest. With all of this happening between us, of course, the key issue is territorial integrity. And uh, for us in Ukraine, territorial integrity is uh, an absolutely sacred concept. This is why one of the issues that we discussed was uh, uh, the resolving of the issue of Sahara. We understand that it is essential for regional security and peace. Ukraine confirms its support to the efforts of the personal envoy of the Secretary General for Western Sahara, aimed at achieving mutually acceptable political solution on, in accordance with United Nations Security Council resolutions and principles of the United Nations Charter. And we look with interest at Morocco's autonomy plan as a serious and credible base for the successful resolution of the Sahara dispute. Uh, thank you for hosting me in uh, Rabat, beautiful city. I went to, I had the honor of visiting uh, the mosque of Hassan II yesterday in Casablanca and the mausoleum of Muhammad V today in Rabat. I am truly impressed with the great history and culture of Morocco. I want more Ukrainians to come here and enjoy your beautiful, beautiful countries, country. And uh, in the meantime, of course, we will be doing, we will be working a lot to deliver on what we discussed today. And I completely forgot the most important speaking point is that we signed a memorandum of understanding and cooperation between the Diplomatic Academy of Ukraine and the Moroccan Diplomatic Academy. This is the investment in the future where our diplomats will be learning more about Morocco, Moroccan foreign policy and the region uh, of Africa and vice versa with regard to your diplomats in Ukraine. Thank you. So once again, thank you thank and you. for your hospitality and I wish all the best to the people of Morocco.